It's 5 a.m. Friday here in Manila. I'm Rain Musing with your first look at the news. Tropical storm Kinta leaves at least six people dead and two others missing. Dozens of towns in Iloilo, Capiz, Aklan, and Camarina Sur are submerged in floods due to Kinta or the storm with the international name Wukong. Well, tropical depression Quinta has weakened into a low-pressure area Thursday. It was last located west of Palawan and continues to move farther away from the country towards the West Philippine Sea. It is expected to dissipate in the coming hours. Malacanang Defense Weather Agencies for their alleged wrong projections on the track of Tropical Storm Quinta this week. Presidential spokesperson Edwin Lacherda pointed out storms cannot be controlled and that Pag-asa and the NDR RMC have been more proactive when it comes to informing the public on projected storm paths. Prices of basic goods are now nearly double in Cati Il Davao Oriental, one of the areas hardest hit by Typhoon Pablo. Residents are only too happy to receive the Noche Buena packs from the Social Welfare Department, but they still want government to resolve the price hikes. A number of soldiers sent to Compostela Valley to rescue residents when Typhoon Pablo hit became victims themselves swept away by the floods, but not before they saved others. The military honored the heroes among them. U.S. stocks fall more than 1% Thursday after comments from U.S. Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid that the United States may be poised to go off the fiscal cliff. U.S. President Barack Obama is traveling back to Washington Thursday, cutting short his holiday to try to get a budget deal with Republican lawmakers. In Europe, fresh concerns that the United States may fail to reach a deal to avoid growth-sapping fiscal measures also weighed on the FTSE's shares Thursday. Most traders still felt an agreement would be struck, expecting that even if a deal was not reached by the end of December, politicians would form one in January that would avoid causing any undue damage to the U.S. economy. Asian stocks were mostly up, led by Japanese exporters Thursday as the yen fell to a 27-month low, making them more competitive. Japan's Nikkei rose nine-tenths of a percent as the yen continued to fall on expectations of more stimulus from Tokyo's new government, but shares in Shanghai were down six-tenths of a percent. The president of Amman Futures surfaced after three months of hiding, telling the Justice Department he was just the driver of owner of the alleged multi-billion peso investment scam. Fernando Luna and his wife are asking the DOJ to allow them to become state witnesses against Manuel Amalilio. Two bystanders and a tricycle driver are injured after an improvised explosive device exploded Thursday in Takarung City, Sultan Kudarat. Police say the 60mm mortar was placed in a box filled with clothes and triggered with a cell phone. Investigators are looking at terrorism or extortion as possible motives for the attack. One more try wins Best Picture in this year's Metro Manila Film Festival. The Star Cinema Film also won the first FPJ Memorial Award for Excellence and Best Screenplay. Best Actor, meantime, went to Ding Dong Dantes. Nora Honor won Best Actress for Thy Womb, which also clinched several awards, including Best Director for Brillante Mendoza. The health department wants a total ban on firecrackers, citing more than 100 injuries recorded days before the new year. Malacanang says it is willing to study the matter, but for now can only ask the public to avoid injury for the new year festivities. And that was your first look at the top stories this Friday, the 28th of December, 2012. I'm Rain Musni. Thank you for staying ahead with ANC.